While Vice President Kamala Harris is on the campaign trail today, visiting the battleground state of Wisconsin. And as Natalie Brand reports, we're learning she now has the support she needs to officially become the Democratic presidential nominee next month, with at least 27 states now pledging their delegates. Vice President Kamala Harris hits the campaign trail Tuesday to visit the battleground state of Wisconsin for the first time as a 2024 presidential candidate. With more than half the states now pledging their delegates, CBS News estimates the vice president has the support she needs to officially become the Democratic presidential nominee next month. This Massachusetts delegate sees Harris appealing to younger voters. I believe that Kamala is the best way forward for our generation. On Monday, Harris told campaign staffers she'll rely on her experience as a prosecutor to go up against former President Donald Trump. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women. Fraudsters who ripped off consumers. Cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. The Trump fans campaign wasted no time stepping up its attacks. The border crisis is a Kamala Harris crisis. Harris is actually even more extreme than Biden, even though that's hard to believe. As Vice President Harris continues to court Democratic support ahead of the convention next month, the big question ahead, who will be her running mate? She needs to choose someone that she's prepared to govern with, campaign with. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro sidestepped questions it might be him, and Maryland Governor Wes Moore told CBS News he's not interested in a new job. I would do anything to make sure that the, that the vice president becomes the next president of the United States, uh, but I'm not going anywhere. The Harris campaign says it's raised over $100 million since she announced she would seek the nomination. More than half are first-time donations. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Well, in his first remarks since dropping out of the race, President Biden called into campaign staffers to thank them and urge them to embrace Harris.